episode of ASMR Minecraft. In today's episode, uh, I'm just going to continue um, with a big dig, just excavation, all that sort of thing. And before we get started, I just hope everybody's having a great day, had a great past week and everything like that. Um, if you want to share what, uh, what you did in the comments, feel free to. I'd love to hear it. I think everybody else would like to hear it too, you know. Um, spawn right in, I guess. Uh, me personally, I was just on, uh, I guess you could say a vacation for the past week. Uh, I'd head back home uh, to Massachusetts for a little while. I had to take care of some things. Um, I don't want to get too into my personal life, but hopefully if everything goes well, I'll be, I'll be moving back home in a little while. Which is honestly great. I've been living out of state for the past few years and uh, I just miss it. You know, I grew up there and nothing's really, um, nothing's really the same for me. You know, out of state, out of Massachusetts. When I was a kid, my father, uh, you know, he served in the Navy for a little while and, you know, he, he got to go all the way around the world, see everything, do so much, you know, and, and, he, um, and he decided to come back to Plymouth cat's out of the bag now. I decided to come back to Plymouth, Massachusetts and live there, you know, uh, and decided to live, you know, back where he grew up. So I asked him, you know, because as a kid, you know, growing up there, you know, as a kid, I don't think anybody, you know, any kid particularly enjoys like where they grew up or anything like that. So I asked him like, why, why'd you uh, come back here? You know, there's like nothing to do with the town socks, yada, yada, you know, typical, typical uh, kid stuff, you know, like, oh, I'd rather go here, 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 and he's like, well, when you get older, you understand, you know, you grew up here, it's your home, you know, nothing else is gonna be, is gonna be like it, you know, and I told him, hey, you're crazy, dad, and whatever, bro, and little did I know I'd feel the same way, you know, growing up, you know, completely grown up, I'd feel exactly like he did. I'm gonna kill that spider. I haven't seen a single sheep anywhere. So uh, this spider, he's gonna have to give up the goods. Cause I need that string, man. It's over. But yeah, that's pretty much what's going on with me. Hope everything's well with you guys. You know, nothing but uh, you know, happiness and prosperity, all that, uh, all that stuff. Good vibes. You know, live, laugh, love. <laughs> You know how they say, but uh, in all seriousness, I, I do hope things are going well with all of you, you know. But right now, I'm not too sure what the plan is when I actually get all this dug out. Like, I, I kind of had this, like, crackhead vision where it's like I'm going to excavate the whole thing, turn it, like, landscape it, like the Queen's Garden or something like that. And, like, recreate the, uh, the oak biome over there. I'm gonna try it out, you know, I'm gonna try it out. I make no promises of it actually like looking good, but like I'm gonna do it. I've been trying to figure out how to like work OBS a little bit better. How to um, record on multiple channels. So I can have the game audio separate from the um, from from the microphone audio, and I came close. I, I'm I'm pretty close to cracking the code on that one. Uh, OBS does indeed record two separate audio channels, but one is completely dead. Even though it looks like I've configured the uh, microphone and the game audio to be on separate audio channels, they do. It looks like they're supposed to be recording on separate audio channels, but. Uh, when I actually pop the whole thing to, into Sony Vegas, um, two audio channels do indeed pop up, but one of them is just completely silent, and all the game audio and the microphone audio is on the same, uh, same channel. I'm sorry for, like, clicking out the microphone a lot, but that's exactly what I'm trying to avoid by just using the power of uh, software and it's just not cooperating. 
because I'm a pretty uh, pretty stuffy dude. Like uh, my sinuses got major issues, so I got the uh, the sniffles pretty much constantly. So I don't want to like subject you guys to that wonderful wonderful noise of me clearing my nose every like three seconds, especially after I like eat. For some reason, my nose gets kind of stuffy. I just had some breakfast. Some, uh, some Arby's. Hell yeah, man. When I say breakfast, it's more like brunch. It's like 10 o'clock in the morning. But uh, I just drove like nine hours yesterday, so I came home and I just kind of flopped in a bed and slept for like a solid 12 hours. I really don't like having to do that all the time. Like, uh, manually turn on and off the microphone. Um, because, for one thing, it just, you can hear it in the video. You can hear, um, that clicking of the button. And for another thing, it makes the editing process pretty, uh, pretty boring. Because pretty much all I do, I, I pop that thing in OB, in uh, Vegas, and I just watch the thing all over again. And, like, uh, half the time, I just don't have to do anything besides pop in, like, some, um, visual effects to make the colors a bit brighter. And, uh, and all that, but... And had like some transitions, like once in a blue moon, but it, it just, you know, makes editing more boring than it has to be. Especially when it's a sleep aid video, like, come on. Sometimes it's a struggle to stay awake editing these things. Another thing, I just uh, made a community poll. No, not a poll, I made a community post on the channel to see if you guys are going to be interested in, like, non-ASMR videos on the channel. Like, not constant, but like every once in a while, because I go on a lot of, uh, long road trips, and I kind of made some videos where it's like, you know, just like a vlog or whatever. You're not going to see my face, so don't worry about that, you know. I get the sort of face that scares children, so I don't want to subject my, my viewership to that. Uh, but I just made some, uh, some random videos, and... Um, I do have a second channel, so if you guys don't want non-SMR content on this channel, just let me know, and I'll just upload it to the, uh, to the second channel, and keep it there. But, all the business out of the way, well, actually, no, not really, I want to talk about some future ideas. Namely, getting, I I've, I've thought about it a little bit, and I think I'm gonna go for a new keyboard, like a quieter keyboard. Because I want to play, um, old Sierra games on this channel. I own the entire Space Quest collection and the entire Leisure Suit Larry collection on the PC. And if for anybody who doesn't know what those are, they are old, uh, parser-based, or point-and-click or parser-based adventure games from Sierra, Sierra Online. Um very old games. Some of them are developed in the 80s. I was thinking of picking up, um, you know, all of King's Quest as well. Because I've never actually played King's Quest. I've, I've seen some videos, not a lot of them. And mainly when I was young, about uh, King's Quest. And I thought they'd be, like, wicked relaxing. But then I thought about it a little more than not at all. And then I realized that my keyboard is, like, wicked loud and if I actually try and um, play those games on this channel with this keyboard it'll like blow the eardrums out of everybody like it's gonna be good for nobody so I've decided to like um, save up a little bit grab a new keyboard and then uh, start doing some King's Quest or well, probably Space Quest videos to start with because Space Quest is um, just a wicked Wicked nostalgic game. Even if you've never seen it before or anything like it, just hopping in, like I guarantee you're gonna be like enraptured with it. Well, maybe not the first one. The first one's a little bit, a little bit rough around the edges, I guess. But uh, it's like that, that old magic, you know. How people talk about like Atari games and shit. How like kids grew up with them on those old CRT monitors and like just the 
weird sound effects and just strange graphics and all that and it was just like enrapturing that's kind of how uh, space quest and and leisure suit larry to an extent leisure suit larry is actually my first um adult game that i ever uh saw or played um it's definitely not like a raunchy game by today's standards i guess you know but you know back in the back in the 80s and 90s, you know, Leisure Suit Larry was like a, a raunchy game. You know, second only to, to, to Custer's Revenge there. Um, I'm not that old, by the way. I'm not, I'm not an 80s, I'm not, I'm not a millennial. I did not grow up around, I did not grow up around these games, like, games contemporary to my childhood are definitely not, like, ancient Sierra games or anything like that. That's not what I grew up with. Um, but, what the hell? These guys are getting smoked, bro. What's up, bro? I don't know who the hell these guys are, but uh, I want that better. Yeah. on. He was wearing it. I want to I wear it. How do I wear it? That's kind of lame. What the hell is this? Bad omen. An hour and 39 minutes. I have no idea what that means, but um, it sounds rough. But the main reason I just smoked those two, my brain just like worked on uh, on instinct there. I saw something cool. I want this. This thing's wicked sick. It's mine now. I wanted to wear it like that guy was, but uh, I'll just have to settle for uh, doing one of these. Yeah. Sick. It's a shame those two um those two Squidwards had to pay in their lives for that uh, cool banner, but, you know, progress stops at nobody. What the hell was I saying? Oh yeah, Space Quest. Yeah, Space Quest is like sick. Like, fully sick. I might do like a little trial run of it on the, uh, on the old keyboard, or the keyboard I'm using right now. <laughs> but I, I do warn you guys, it's, um, it's gonna be a lot of noise. It's gonna be a lot of noise if I do it. Cause uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, parser parser based adventure games, they require you to type all your inputs. I mean, completely uh, type it out fully. So like you see how it looks exactly like the um the text box in Minecraft. So say I wanted like I for example take say this is a screen of the game, right? It'd be third person. But say I was looking at this and I wanted to look at Oh, what's in the furnace, right? I have to go look furnace, and then it would, um, with with text most of the time, it, it describe what what you would see inside of the furnace. Say, oh, oh, you look inside the 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 dimly lit furnace, and you see two pieces of coal. You just go take coal, and then it uh, say coal added to inventory or whatever. You pick up the coal or something like that. And that's kind of like the whole game. You do that, uh, you have to complete a series of tasks, like, you know, like you have an overarching goal in the game. For example, in Space Quest 1, you have to stop the, um, the Sarians from using the star generator for whatever evil purposes they may have for it. Uh, really, oh, and Leash Suit Larry, the, uh, the goal is to get laid. Very classy game. Leash Suit Larry is definitely a, a, favorite of my, a favorite of mine. I can't really speak to the new ones, but Leash Suit Larry is one through. Because Leash Suit Larry 1 was. You, yeah, 2. Leash Suit Larry's 1 through 3 are pretty, uh, are pretty cool. Uh, very, very funny games. A lot of uh, good writing in them. Very, 
um, very corny, very corny humor sometimes. But, you know, it's the 80s, man. Everybody was corny back then. America was cornier than a, than a Kansas wheat, uh, than a Kansas field back in the 80s, man. I mean, people unironically said cowabunga. You know, I mean, what sort of shit is that? Just out of the blue. Like, radical dog. Um, admittedly, some people do actually continue to talk like that today. Uh, we call them Californians. Some people say the, uh, the Midwest produces the most corn in the United States, but I posit that uh, California produces the most corn balls. That's kind of like the uh, the plans for the channel in the near future. So if anybody has any like input or anything like that, feel free to, to say it in the comments because I really do enjoy hearing from you guys. And I really do want like some feedback on what I'm doing as well. Uh, see what you guys want to see so I can deliver the best possible ASMR to you guys. You know? Like me personally, I, I um I'm not gonna sit here and like ask for like subscriptions and likes and all that, but I, I will ask you to like leave feedback because I, I really do want to hear from you guys and like what you think and what you what you want to see because that's kind of the, uh, the important stuff right there because if I don't know really what you guys want to watch, um, I'm just gonna continue doing like the same um, the same stuff. Uh, that produces views, which in this case is Minecraft at the moment, but like, uh, it'll inevitably get kind of old, you know, like anything does. Nobody can sit down and watch like 139 episodes of, of straight Minecraft talk. Um, I don't think it's realistic to like expect out of anybody. So obviously I want to produce uh, different, different sort of content in the future. Like I eventually I want to do stuff where it's like, you know, you know, me on camera doing like ASMR, like traditional like ASMR role plays and stuff like that, but you know, I don't have a green screen or like a really good place to film or even like a good camera. Like I got my iPhone, that's it. Um, so when it comes to like this right now, like I definitely want to hear from you, you guys out there. want to see in here when it comes to like games uh, at the moment like a lot of you guys are already doing that you know suggesting different keyboards like somebody's saying something more like a, a cherry cherry switches or something like that that's probably what I'm gonna go that's actually not probably that's definitely what I'm gonna go with uh, when it comes to like a new keyboard uh, the the cherry cherry switches or whatever they are um like trust me i see that you know and like i said the only thing i'll, I'll ever ask you guys to do is like comment because if you, you know if nobody's like vocal um like i'm just not gonna like know at least not know very well what you're gonna want to see um for one thing i'm just not that smart like i'm not a i'm not a clever guy you know, and I'm not very, um, capable when it comes to, comes to, like, picking up on shit. Like, I'm genuinely fairly stupid. Um, for example, uh, I went to a baby shower, uh, yes, about two days ago. I was, I was going to a friend's baby shower, and they had this little, um, little game thing, right? Where it's like, uh, guess the due date. Of our baby, and I was like, "What the hell? You ain't guessed the due date. You already listed that in the um on the website where it bought the gifts out of, right?" And um and I, I was, you know, I went on, I went on their uh, little baby because uh, they had like this baby list website thing where like you could automatically purchase gifts. It's really handy. I I really enjoyed using it. it made it a lot a lot simpler to use for me. Um, because like I said, I'm, I'm pretty stupid, but, 
so like on this website it says like the due date's supposed to be like April, April something or other. And I, I bring it up to them like, yo, it says it right here. This is the uh, this is the due date. And they kind of look at me funny and it's like, yeah, but the baby could come earlier or later. And that's just like a prediction. And I kind of like look at it and I look at them. I'm like, oh yeah, that's the sort of person I am. Right? I'm just like dumb. So, what I'm trying to say is, like, I really want to hear from you guys, like, what you want, like, suggestions, all that sort of stuff. So, if all that sounds good, like, I'm going to continue on with Minecraft and Skyrim, like, most definitely. Like, I really don't give a shit how many views, like, the Skyrim series or, like, all the other, like, variety content gets in comparison to Minecraft. I'm still going to make it because I like making it. Like, I didn't, um, I didn't make that episode of, of Fate ASMR because I thought Fate is going to get, like, a million views. I, I made it because, like, I love the game and I wanted to play it, so I made a video on it, you know? So, like, I'm not too concerned, like, how the video is going to perform, per se. Um, like, it does well, it does well, it does bad, it does bad, who cares? Um, at the end of the day, I mean... I'm still gonna watch it. Like, I'm one of those people where it's like, I can fall asleep to my own uh, ASMR. So, you know, it's not like a big deal to me. Um, that's not to say I'm just gonna produce, like, dog shit for the sake of, like, producing dog shit, but, like, I'm gonna do, like, I'm gonna do whatever when it comes to, like, games. It's like a cool game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop it in there. Like, for example, like I was just talking about Space Quest and Laser Suit Larry. Do I think anybody, anybody over the age of like, um, do I think anybody under the age? Like, do I think anybody under the age of like 30 has ever heard of Leisure Suit Larry or Space Quest or King's Quest? Hell no. Hell no. I guarantee you nobody my age has ever heard of that shit. Guaranteed. But like, I'm going to do a video on that because I think they're cool games. I kind of lost my train of thought. I think I'm going a little off the rails. I'm going to reel it back in just a bit. I'm a little, uh, little high energy today. I think it's because I just got off that long drive. I'm a little bit wound up still. But this is going to be a big patch of trees. I want the thing, like, literally uh, to, like, re recreate um, a forest biome in this. And I think I'm still going to have to use, like, stone and, like, sandstone as filler and then cover it with a layer of dirt. Because I don't have that much dirt. I kind of used it all for the farm over here. Which reminds me. I'm going to continue um, harvesting a little bit. I really want these potatoes to, to take over a bit here. Because potatoes are like wicked cool, man. I think these are done. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, man. Four potatoes. Okay, it's still just one potato. Alright, so it's got to be big. Or else it's not going to do anything. And I think I'm going to cut back on the wheat to about... Like here. I want this whole half to be potatoes. I'm going to harvest some of this too right now. Looks like a lot of it's done. And I'm going to need some, uh, some food, you know. No clue if any of that was actually ready to be harvested. But you know what? Uh -uh. It's not that big of a deal.
Yep. See ya, dude. I think when I finally run out of iron, I'm gonna like, um, I'm gonna pop the water breathing and, um, pop the water breathing potion and put on the aqua affinity helmet and go looking for some more in that cavern system.
I might have to like actually find a village or something like that uh, for um, for brewing. Oh, I'm out of water breathing. Didn't even notice. I'm not gonna even try and make it back there without this.
Hey, I'm from Germany. Hey, I'm from the Netherlands. You know, I'm from Brazil. You've got to be kidding me. Watching this. Hope you all have a great day or a great night. 